Right, today we have an old pull cue that my friend actually wants to get this pin out and replace with a 5 16 18 threaded, just solid threaded rod pin. This is actually for sort of a quick release joint, which he doesn't match his carbon shaft. So he asked me to get this out of here and replace it. It's a little bit, it's been difficult. So I have a fixture over there. You can see, I zoom in a little bit, down here in the corner. This guy fits in here and you can tighten this up. This is a collet block. And so if I tighten this, it'll hold this and I twist it and I've been trying to get the thing out of there and it still hasn't worked. So I heated it with a soldering iron, a big old soldering iron, big giant one. Got it hot, still didn't come out. So I think it needs to be even hotter. So I'm going to try this. This, let me see if I can focus on it. Is a very old alcohol blowtorch. It's used for like jewelry and stuff, I think. Somebody gave this to me. It's kind of awesome. So let me open it up here. It it works. You put uh, ethyl alcohol in the bottom, camping fuel. Can you see that? Oh yeah, there you go. And it's got this wick on top. This cotton pad wick that gets saturated with the fuel and it lights like a candle and it heats up this little top head part and causes a flame to shoot out of it like a little blow, well it's a blowtorch so if we light it put the cap down Let's see if I can do this I might have to shut off the light so you can see it oh there it's lit Kind of see it there, and as this goes, the heat's up there. You can start seeing the flame coming out forward. This will be a little blowtorch. It gets pretty loud too. But that's enough to solder, melt stuff. It's a really cool little idea. So. It builds pressure inside because of the heat heating of this tube up here. I can't touch it anymore. I need to get it focused. Yeah, so it heats up that tube. Now you can start hearing it. And uh, causes pressure and it causes this blowtorch effect. This is very similar how those old blowtorches you see in movies work. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to heat up this pin, hopefully soften whatever glue is in here. And see if we can't get this pin up. I thought this might work because this little guy won't melt or heat up the rest of the pull cue. I can heat just the tip up over here and it's a lot better than the soldering iron. Anyway, this is just camping fuel in this torch, uh, which is just alcohol. Ethyl alcohol would work probably. Um, Everclear would probably work if you'd get some. I've not tried it with isopropyl alcohol. I have to read up on that whether that actually would work or not. Okay, that's definitely hotter than I had it before because it's really blue now. Blew the torch out. Put that over on my metal bench there. All right, I'm gonna try this. It's smoking. Oh, it expanded. I can't get that in there. Now, can I turn it? I think that answer is still no.
Yep, still spinning. All right, I'm going to keep working on this and see if this will eventually work. Well, that seems to have worked. I really heated it up. Um, but now this is turning. Uh, I felt a little pop. It's still pretty stiff. <clears throat> but it is getting longer. I uh, think we have a winner here. Anyway, I'm going to call that a success. Pretty good for a 100-year-old uh, blowtorch. It's probably about what it is from the 1920s or 30s. Yeah, I can see the epoxy coming out now. Yep. There's some glue down in there. No wonder it didn't come out the first couple tries. I had no idea the pin was that long. Now that I know, no wonder you had to heat it up for a good 10 minutes, which I did kind of off on. Oh, there we go. See, now I'm finger tight. There it is. Look at that. That pin is the standard pin. Fortunately, it's 5 sixteenths, uh, 18. Yep. Trying to get it to focus right there. Yeah, there it is. And there's the pin down there. Success. Okay, I'm going to try to modify this pin. So I'm going to make just a little rounded end on this end. And then we'll just thread it back into the queue with this side. So it won't have threads at the very bottom. I think there's so much thread engagement, I think it's probably fine. At least it's good enough for initial try. So this is an old metal lathe that I have that I use for Q work as well. But uh, I use this three jaw. Doesn't have to be too accurate. It's a little awkward because the camera's in the way. But oops, that's the wrong way. Get rid of the threads. This is really cosmetic more than it is anything else. All right. Do I want to get rid of that little tip? Maybe. <sighs> Probably end up filing it off anyway, but what the heck. So it looks like uh, I use a little radius tool here to do that. So that's this tool here. It's not really fine enough radius to get that. So I'm just going to file it and then polish it. That ought to be good enough. It doesn't matter. It's just cosmetic, like I said. The pin will feed in regardless. I've already tried it. Oops. Wrong way. So again. I'm doing this kind of left-handed because of uh, the camera. Eh, that's pretty good. I can sand that down with some finer grit sandpaper. Oh my gosh, just sitting on my bed. I need some 180. All right, we'll do this.
Okay. I'm going to call that good. Stick that back in the queue. All right. There it is. Threaded it back in using the uh, call it I showed in the other segment. And, yeah, looks good to go. Should try it. I'll give it to him and have him try it out.